Westinghouse. Westinghouse Studio One. Out of 70 years of leadership in research, out of the vision of America's most advanced engineers, out of the widest kind of experience in electrical manufacturing come products for home, farm, and industry that bear this respected mark, this mark of quality, the mark of Westinghouse. You can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Not another one. Let me have it. I'll throw it in the fire. Well, there's no use to upset ourselves with that filth. It must be much worse than the other. Dear Charlotte, we have a little secret, don't we? You and I. We both know what the good kind Charlotte is really like underneath. We're not fools, are we? Please, Miss Charlotte, don't read that. I'm a hypocrite, a wanton, dishonest. What is it? What on earth's the matter? Good morning, Charlie. I've gotten down to breakfast because... Well, what's wrong, Mrs. Wick? It's another of those letters, Miss Emily. That's the seventh this year. I've kept count. Seven horrible letters out of nowhere. But everybody in Concord loves Miss Charlotte. Who could possibly want to persecute her like this? I don't suppose there's any signature. No, it just breaks off like the rest. Let me see it. Well, it doesn't seem any different from the rest. Dishonest, hypocrite. Well, the Lord knows all this could apply to... What is it, Miss Emily? You didn't read it all, did you? No. I was going to throw it in the fire. Listen. Only you and I know, Charlotte, what really happened to John. But soon others are going to find out. Soon even the police will know. The police will know you killed your husband. Terrible thing to say. I remember when that picture was taken. It was the spring before he married Charlotte. We must do something about that letter. We used to take long walks that spring, John and I, down by the pond. Do you remember how he smiled? I can't say that I do. But four years isn't such a long time, but I forget these days. Four years, four minutes. It's all the same since she married him and he died. Now, Miss Emily. I read him all of Sir Thomas More that spring while he sat on the grass and dreamed. Oh, what a time it was. Until Charlotte came. Miss Charlotte and Mr. Wheeler were friends a long time before they were married. Not really. Not the way we were those months. Be that as it may, Miss Emily. Charlotte and he were a happy couple. Now he's dead. And now these letters have started coming. And whoever's writing them knows altogether too much about us. How can you say such a thing? You know what I mean, Mrs. Wick. Emily! Good morning, Emily. We missed you at breakfast. I had one of my headaches. Oh, Father. Good morning. 
Oh, poor Emily. You've been having such a lot of headaches. You must get Roger to give you something. Why must Charlotte keep this house like a tomb? We don't all have to stay in mourning. Why, well, I think the room's quite cheery. If the winter makes it dark. Or to eat a big breakfast. I had a cup of tea. Tea. You need food on a day like this. It's freezing in here. I think it's color the room needs. You curtains might... Oh, I know it would be wonderful. A stained glass window like the one the Wainwrights have in their parlor. It's lovely in the morning, all, all lilac and yellow. Well, when you're married, you can have all the stained glass you like. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Father, excuse me. Father? Waring going to take you downtown. He's coming by in his new carriage with the new horses. The ones he got all the way from Virginia. Such a long way to go for horses. Do I really look all right? You never look better, child. Child, I'm 24 next month. <laughs> and an old maid. <gasps> You're a child, and that's that. And as for being an old maid, there's no such thing until a woman's dead. That's very heartening, Mrs. Wicks. Father does like Roger, doesn't he? I, I can never get him to say either yes or no. Of course he likes him. You don't think he enjoys having three grown girls living with him, do you? Well, the governor would be lost without his girls, and you know it, Emily. He thinks Dr. Waring's a fine young man, just like the rest of us do. He's a fire scheme, somebody. I'm half frozen. Oh, it's so wonderful, Roger and me. I hope he hasn't proposed already. No, he hasn't. It wouldn't be proper just yet, but he should soon, next month, say. You have it all figured out. Well, some things are fitting and some aren't. A girl must get to know a young man very well before she even allows him to mention an engagement. Even when he's a doctor from Harvard with a, with a good practice right here in Concord? Well, all that's in his favor, but even so... Will he I want one of us? Now, how can you say such a thing, Miss Anne? There's been another letter. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And whoever wrote it has accused Charlotte of killing John. I don't believe it. There was no need of that. You didn't have to tell the child. And keep your voice down, Miss Emily. Oh, no, sooner or later. Don't you understand what may happen? What may happen? Poor Miss Charlotte will lose her mind. That's what will happen if we don't put a stop to these letters. That's not what I meant. All along, I wanted to take those filthy things to the police. But no, Miss Charlotte said, no use doing that. No use airing family linen and... We couldn't take them to the police even if we wanted to. What do you mean? I mean that Charlotte has been accused of murder. We don't dare tell the police that. But I can't see why not. She didn't kill him, so, so why should we be afraid? Miss Emily does have a point. I mean, the police may not understand things. I can't see what either of you is talking about. I have a good mind to go and tell Father everything. Father, the governor? He's too old for trouble now. He couldn't do anything about it anyway. I wish we'd told him when that first letter came last spring. No, we didn't. And it's too late now. Was, was Charlotte very much upset? Like lightning had struck her, the poor lamb. Then we'll have to go to the police. We'll, we'll have to find some way of stopping these letters. We don't dare. That must be your young doctor. I'll let him in. Get me out of here. It'll be much pleasanter in the summer. Miss Anne should have taken you there directly. It is rather warm here. I'll manage, I'll manage. House full of strangers. Now, don't you go and brood about this. Just keep your mind on your own business and don't let him propose to you right away. Just sneak around and find out his intentions. Talk about horses. That does wonders. 
But don't mention babies. Except casually, just to say that you like them. Oh, good morning, Dr. Waring. Morning, what a Wait. nice surprise. Morning. Oh, Roger, I'm almost ready. <laughs> We're expecting you for dinner tonight, aren't we, Doctor? Ah, uh, yes, I believe so. <laughs> well, the governor is coming in for dinner, too. He's feeling better these days, though he does complain of the cold. Well, they're outside. The new horses. They must be freezing. They're, they're not used to our winters. Oh, no. No, they seem all right. I'm glad. What's wrong? You did say you wanted me to come this oh, yes, morning. Of course, I'm, I'm almost ready. It's just a... What is it? Roger, I have to tell you. You've got to help us. Well, surely, but what is it? Charlotte, the most awful letters. We don't know who it is. This one came today. That's strange handwriting. Looks backwards. Each letter is worse than the one before. They, they say terrible things about all of us, but mostly they attack poor Charlotte. It's, it's gotten so she can't sleep. We're all worried about her. Usually she's so calm, but now, well, she, she's beginning to show the strain. Sometimes when you speak to her, she doesn't even hear you. Oh. That is quite a letter. It's the work of a maniac, isn't it? I'd certainly think so. Tell me about this uh, last part. Well, that's the worst of all. Look. But well, I don't see anything, just... The address and the stamp. Yes, but what else should be there? What else? Oh, why, there's no postmark. This letter was never mailed. Oh, but I'm sure it came in the mail, the, the way the other six did. They, they were all mailed from Concord. I remember we, we tried to have one of them traced, but it was impossible. If this letter was with the other letters this morning... You think someone brought it here? By hand? When the risk of being caught? No. Anne, I think this letter was written by someone in the house. But who? Why? And perhaps it's better not to find out who or why. You... You think one of us is responsible? Someone here in the family? Or in the house. Well, then, all the more reason to find out who it is, no matter what happens. If, if we don't, it'll only get worse, and Charlotte will break. How many servants do you have? Three. Not counting Mrs. Wicks? Not counting her. Get samples of their handwriting. Of everyone's in the house. Compare them to this. All right. I'll try to do it today. Someone in this house. Just like, thank you. The doctors say that if you drink coffee at night... Oh, Roger is a doctor, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's a born physician. She prescribes for all of us. Well, I'd say she's done rather well. None of you look in need of doctoring. You're all slender. I'd weigh 200 if I ate like this every night. <laughs> Mrs. Wicks made a special effort. Best meal I've had since I left home. Uh, you must find us very quiet after Boston. No, not at all. Not 
But now? Dr. Waring's just being polite. We can't compare with Boston. Why, Emily, what a thing to say. John preferred Boston, too. He never liked living here. John? Do you mean my John? The only one we've ever known, yes. When I was engaged to him, we talked of going away to Boston. He wanted to open a law office there. You must all go and see Roger's new horses. Yes, thank you. I'd like to. Excuse me. I'll be right back. And? No one here could have written those letters. My handwriting can be disguised. There was nothing that was even close. Sit down, sit down. It's an awful thing being helpless. These girls push me around as if I were a child. Now, Father, don't be so unsociable. We don't want Dr. Waring to think that we're impolite, do we? Oh. Where's my pipe? Or oh, maybe you left it in the parlor. I'll get it, I'll get it. Can't find anything. You know, I don't know what we should do without Mrs. Wick. Shut the door. She's been with us ever since we were children. Ever since our mother died. You wouldn't all like to go driving tomorrow, would you? There's uh, plenty of room for all of you. Oh, no, not in February. The winter of our discontent. Oh. Spring and summer, too. Just wait till you've lived here year in and year out with nothing to do but eat, sleep, talk, write letters. Emily, I've never heard you talk like this. February can be a very bleak month in New Hampshire, Doctor. Spring seems an eternity away. Oh, I'm enjoying it. Then spring, then summer. I tell you, Charlotte, if I'd married John, we would have moved to Boston. I don't know what you'd be alive about. today. I think you do. This is me. This is me. Yes. Governor. Father, we saw Mayor Wainwright today. He he sent you his best. Can't stand him. Oh, now, Governor, you know you're like Mr. Wainwright. No such thing. Not like the old days. We had a different sort of men in public life then. Doctor, do you know Edward Everett? Why, yes. Uh, he was from New Hampshire, wasn't he? Friend of mine. Spoke at Gettysburg before Lincoln. Made a better speech, I thought. Oh, were you there, sir, at Gettysburg that day? I was. I was a lieutenant in the 13th New Hampshire Regiment. I heard all the speeches that day. It was a long time ago, sir. A better time. A messy thing when two girls liked the same fellow makes a lot of trouble. Governor, it's almost 10 o'clock. I haven't had a chance to talk to this young man yet. Don't want to go off like that. Don't want to be rude. May I go to bed? Do forgive me, I've had a very busy day. Good night. Good night. Good night, Michelle. Good night, Good night. very nice talking about John to push Charlotte. Nice! Turn now to Westinghouse Studio One and Dark Possession.
tea, would you? No? Well, perhaps later when Dr. Waring comes. He'll be glad to see you up after last night. I wanted to go to the police right then and there. But Miss Emily said no. She was wrong, too. We must have protection, that's what I said. Oh, that isn't a proper book for you, Miss Charlotte. I've heard about these books in French. Take your medicine. Oh, it's nearly four o'clock. <laughs> Miss Ann and the doctor will be here any minute. It is chilly. I'll put more wood on the fire. It's been the coldest February. Oh, it's going to be just like it was when you married Mr. Wheeler. When Miss Ann married the young doctor. When I married? Married Mr. Wheeler, yes. What do doctors carry in their black bags? Carry? Oh, I don't know. No medicine, I suppose. Seems like that. Strong medicine. Strong? Well, what do you mean? I wonder if they carry poison. What on earth is the matter with you? Oh, you mustn't even think of such things. Now, soon we'll find out who's sending those letters. Then it'll all be over, like a bad dream. Just be patient a while longer. Uh, remember to take your medicine. Mrs. Wheeler. I wanted to see you this morning. Anne told me you were sleeping. But I've only been up a short while. Yes. With a bad shock, I know. Worse than you know. Well, you're much better today, I think. <laughs> Why don't you get some sun in here? The light hurts my eyes. Don't you think you should tell your father about all this? Oh, no. No, I couldn't have father read those letters. Well, he must suspect something. He saw the mirror last night. But I don't want him to read the letters. Well, then I think you should go to the police. If it could be done quietly, I... I don't think I can wait much longer. Would you like me to talk to them? No. I'd better go myself. Soon? Soon. You see, I think there might be a possibility that this person may become dangerous. It isn't the letters that I mind so much. It's the other things. The strange little things that keep happening. Like what? I'm being watched. Someone is watching me and waiting. I don't know who or what for, but I can feel it and I... I think I must be going out of my mind. Now you're not going out of your mind. Little things of mine keep disappearing. Odds and ends of no value except to me. And all the time there's this feeling of being watched by someone hiding, by someone waiting. Well, you must have some idea who it is. Soon I think I shall meet them face to face in some secret corner. Then I'll be destroyed! I know that! I would like some tea. Oh, that's Thank good you, of you, Doctor. Mrs. Wilson. You'll stay for dinner, won't you, Doctor? No, no, I can't, I'm afraid. I'll uh, drop in uh, afterwards, if I may. Oh, very well. Charlotte, drink your tea. The governor's taking a nap in his room. Who is it? Now, you must suspect someone. I think I do. Tell me. I can't. I dare not. There's no proof. None at all. Tell me about your husband. I love him. And he was found murdered one afternoon in his office at Concord. Oh, 
I'm sure you know the whole story. You don't mind talking about it, do you? Yes, I do, very much. But I'll, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Well, was your sister, Emily, really in love with him? I really don't know. I didn't think so at the time. I certainly didn't take him away from her. Thinking back, perhaps she was in love in her strange way. Was she shy? With all men that were eligible. But he was not interested in her. I know that. No, I, I think this is something that she's built up in her mind since. And now she honestly believes that I stole him from her. Mm. What kind of day was it when your husband was killed? Like no other day in my life. It was early autumn, the time of the equinox. That morning there'd been a storm. Anne was in Boston. And Emily and I had lunch here together with Father. We were all on edge. Oh, you, you lived in another um, place. We had a house, John and I, down by the old common. What time of day did your husband die? No one seems to know exactly. They found him in the afternoon, sometime in the early evening. Where were you and Emily after lunch? I don't know. I really don't. Were you together? She says not, but I don't remember. I think I went a little mad when I was told he died. I see. Well, I'll certainly help you all I can. You're very kind. But I have a feeling it won't be necessary. It'll all be over soon. Something will happen. But what? French novel. How in the world did I get hold of a thing like this? Excuse me, Charlotte. This is Mr. Weston of the police department. I, uh, I was just passing by and I thought I'd come in, Mrs. Uh... I'm Mrs. Wheeler. These are my sisters. I've had that pleasure, thank you. What can we do for you, Mr. Weston? Take off your coat. Sit down. Oh, thank you. I'll only be a moment. I couldn't have a word with the governor, could I? No, I'm afraid not. He's asleep. Well, I, I guess it can keep. I'm afraid it can't. You know? I think so. Charlie? You've received an anonymous letter, haven't you? Why, yes, ma'am, that's right. Uh, how, how did you know? Because I've received several, which you're welcome to read. Well, it's not that we pay any mind to what they say. They're crazy, all right, but we figured we ought to investigate to find out who's responsible. Oh, I hope you can. I'd intended coming to see you myself. Oh, the letter said you probably would. It said what? It said you'd probably come tell us your side of the case. Oh, it was some letter, all right. How could anybody know that I was coming to the police? I didn't tell anyone. Could you speak with Mrs. Wheeler some other time, officer? As her doctor, I'm afraid she... Oh, I'm all right. I can imagine what the letter said. I'm supposed to have murdered my husband, isn't that it? Well, yes, ma'am, something like that. But the police must know how absurd that is. Oh, sure we do, and we want to help you. I think I know who wrote those letters, Mr. Weston. I'll talk to you in the morning. I'll have the whole story by then. Oh. Well, good day, Mrs. Wheeler. I'll look in about five if that's convenient. Don't want to disturb the governor. You're very thoughtful. Good day. Good day. Now, are you satisfied? What do you mean? I've had my suspicions from the beginning, but I wouldn't let myself think such a thing. I wouldn't let myself think that you would go to this degree to take your revenge You're and accuse your own sister of murder. Line. I'm not! But you are, with envy and hatred. You were jealous of John and me. You wanted him for yourself. That's not oh, true. Oh, what a fool I was not to see that you were in love with him and how you must have hated me. That's enough, Charlotte. That's you not true. You invented this whole thing. You pretended to yourself that John would have married you if I hadn't taken him away. He would have. Oh, Emily. He thought you were plain. He thought you were pitiable. He didn't even know that you were Stop it! Now I'll tell you what I think. John was the only man I ever loved. The only man who ever loved me. And you knew it. 
You couldn't resist taking him away from me out of spite. Oh, how can you say that? Because it's true. But you didn't love John when you married him. You even stopped him from leaving Concord when he wanted to move to Boston. You thought only of yourself. Everybody knows what you think. It's all in your letters. They're not my letters. But whoever wrote them knows what we know. And what is that? That you killed your husband, Charlotte. You killed John. Heaven help you. <laughs> Turn now to Westinghouse Studio One and Dark Possession. Uh, sorry, sir. I was late in town. <coughs> Catching pneumonia. I'm sure of it. Uh, difficulty breathing, and I'm cold all the time. Yes. Mrs. Wick said you didn't have any temperature this morning. Young man, I know when I'm sick. I was sick before you were born. Yes, sir. My age, I can't take chances. Yes, sir. Governor, I wanted to talk to you about Charlotte. Charlotte? I thought you were marrying Anne. Well, yes, but I'm very concerned about Charlotte. The Democrats are going to nominate that Orson B. Parker. I feel it in my bones. I think Charlotte is almost on now, the verge of a... Now, if they'd only nominate Brian again, we'd be all right. Governor, I wanted to talk to you about Charlotte. And I don't. Do you understand? Do you want me to write it down for you? Then you know what's going on. None of your business, whatever it is. Well, it is yours. Someone's accused your daughter of murdering her husband. That fool thing on the mirror. It's worse than that. They've gone to the police. How do you know this? Man from the Concord police was here last night. I swear jealous women cause all the misery in this world. And you think it was Emily who told the police? Who else would? Was she really that jealous of her sister? All her life, poor child. Governor. 
How was John Wheeler killed? You think maybe there's some truth in this? I uh, don't know. I think it would help if Charlotte could clear herself. Help her, I mean. As district attorney, he was prosecuting a gang of extortionists. I told the young fool to watch out. I told him, John, never let on what you're doing until you're sure of your case. Then indict them. No, he'd got everything figured out. Went off half cocked. Got himself shot for his pains. By the extortionists? That's right. But the actual murderer was never found? No. Did Charlotte and her husband ever quarrel about leaving Concord? No. She worshipped him. Never could see why. Oh, I think he did want to try his luck in Boston, but we changed his mind for him. Feel that wind. It's like a knife. Roll me over to the fire. Call Mrs. Wicks. Yes, sir. I'm afraid... That is none of my business, yes. I, uh, I've heard that already. Then why do you insist on prying into our affairs? Because I want to help. Because I'm Mrs. Wheeler's doctor. And because I'm engaged to Anne. I'm sorry, I can't help you. You mean you won't? Dr. Waring, we are private people. Miss Bell, where were you and your sister the afternoon her husband was killed? father wants Mrs. Wicks. Is Charlotte still asleep? Yes, she was a half hour ago. I've just been in talking to your father. Not much help. No, not at all. He won't take this thing seriously. How did she sleep last night? Same noises, same, same nightmares, I guess. Should have given her a sedative. Mrs. Wicks and the cook have been running up and down stairs all day looking after the invalid. And I think I'm beginning to understand what Enough! happened. Oh, stop watching me! my bag there. What's that? What's that? What's that? Yes, Doctor. Right away. Oh. What happened, Doctor? I heard a cry out, and then I, the time I got to the landing, she followed. Why, she was pushed. Mm. <laughs> she tried to kill me. Just like she said she would. Just like she killed John. Who did this to you, Charlotte? She's been watching me for years, waiting. Every time I was happy, she did something to ruin it. Then she fell in love with John, but she couldn't have him, and so she wouldn't let me have him. <laughs> oh, stop her. Oh, please, stop her. Who, Charlotte? Stop who? Who wrote those letters? I... Dead. Michelle. Oh, and get everyone out here. Oh, no. Everyone out, please. Michelle. Why did you write those letters? To punish her. <laughs> she told you. I knew she would. Punish whom? Charlotte. She had everything. I had nothing. It was always like that. Who are you? Janet. That's just like her. She never mentions my name. She's ashamed of me. Have you known Charlotte long? All my life. I used to leave messages for her, but she never answered. 
She tried to ignore me, to pretend that I didn't exist. She shouldn't have done that. Yes, you were jealous, jealous of that. Jealous of that poor creature? No, I despised. She had everything. I had nothing. You killed John Wheeler. Ask me no questions, I'll tell you. Why does he have it? Why does he have it? Letters. Because she did. Part of her did. I don't understand. Hey, are you girl? She's two people. Two people? Yes. You better go to your father. Don't mention what's happened. And I'll call you. Mrs. Wheeler? Dr. Wendy? Why am I here? Oh. Did, did I fall? On the stairs, yes. Oh, yes. I remember. Someone was behind me. They tried to push me. I couldn't see who it was. But I think it was Emily. It wasn't Emily. But who? Yourself. Mrs. Wheeler, listen to me carefully for your own sake. We don't have any time. You are two people. Two people? Yes. A few minutes ago, you told me your name was Janet. You said you hated Charlotte. And you admitted writing those letters to yourself. Oh, I can't believe you. I'm not mad. I'm as sane as you are. I know I'm forgetful at times, but I couldn't just be two people. Those moments you're forgetful. That's when you're Janet. I began to suspect this yesterday when you told me you didn't remember anything about the afternoon your husband died. Do you mean that it was someone else the afternoon that John died? Mrs. Wheeler, you killed your husband. I killed John. That part of you called Janet. Uh, oh, no. I don't believe you. You have got to believe me now. There's no time. It's our only chance to fight this other person in you. I'll go to the police. There's nothing else I can do. That wouldn't help matters. Remember, they have no real proof that you killed your husband. Oh. They know nothing about this, this other <laughs> self in you. Poor Charlotte. I'll go to the police. As if she dared. No, the police will come to her. <laughs> I've seen to that. I still have a few surprises left. What have you done, Janet? <laughs> oh, you wait and see. I still have some surprises left. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else I can do. I feel so drowsy. Yes. I gave you a sedative. I killed him. I killed my own husband. I killed him. Now, you're not to think that. Not for a moment. You're two separate people. There must be some way to, to control this Janet. Me, that I can become this other person. Just like that, without even knowing it. Without knowing it. And without remembering what you've done. Now you get some rest. I'm going to get Mrs. Wicks. Oh. And we'll put you to bed.
asleep. Help me carry her upstairs. Yes, Doctor. That was uh, an ugly fall. Here. Give her this. And she comes to. Yes, Doctor. Oh, do you want to come, Lan? No, not at all, you poor dear. That weak. What? Take this. And then I'll tuck you right into bed. really know. I think I could sleep for a hundred years. We'll talk in the morning about it. You're a brave woman, Mrs. Wheeler. And I'm going to have to declare your sister insane. It's the only way we can save her from the police. Charlotte can't be insane. If I don't, it'll be necessary. <laughs> Studio One originated live from New York City.